Hi guys, we are back. It is day six of Vlogist. Couple updates. So on the nuts, here was the finished product. Um, I do add a little bit of coconut oil, which I didn't talk about in there um, when they're about halfway cooked. So I roasted these. I think all together I did about 18, 19 minutes. So at the 10 minute mark, I added a quarter cup of coconut oil. Well, actually I added a half a cup of coconut oil, but I should have only added a quarter cup of coconut oil because I couldn't remember what I added. Um, so these are a little bit more greasy than probably he's used to, but they still taste delicious. And then I also did the seasoning just like I did in the video. I did it each time. Um, and you can kind of taste it and see what you like. And add your own flavors, your favorites, and, and play with it. You know, don't be afraid to really test the waters. You know, if you like sour cream and onion, try adding some onion powder in there. You know, there's a lot of different ways that you can kind of mix it up, so to speak. But these are all of the nuts that I got done for him. And then I also made, a, actually made a double batch of the chocolate paleo muffins, chocolate paleo banana muffins for my hubby and son. And um, I left out five this morning and the rest I just froze and then I just kind of pull them out here and there. They don't eat them every day um, because they, you know, they do have actual real dark chocolate which has sugar in it and they have honey in them and it's, it's a pretty good amount. It's a paleo. I think that's the only thing about a lot of the paleo recipes, um, especially the treats, is that they use a lot of honey. <laughs> They're like, oh, it's natural, it's great. I don't I don't know that that much honey is good for it. So today I've worked, and I worked out today, and now I am going to go ahead and do a little bit more meal prep that I didn't quite get done yesterday. I just kind of got tired, and I don't, you know, I kind of take my time doing it. I catch up on my Netflix, that sort of thing. So for today, I wanted to make him his smoothies. This is another one of those things I don't have to do every week. So I'm gonna make five jars and put them in the freezer and I'll show you how to do that now. So first off, you've got to start with your jar and then you want to take your spinach and measure it. And I forgot the scale in the kitchen, so sorry. And I gotta grab have an open bag of spinach, so I definitely want to grab that. So I apologize, I thought I had everything out. <laughs> of course I did not, so here we go. Here's our scale, and we're going to just tear it. So we got the jar on there, we're going to turn it on, and then I do a full serving of spinach because spinach has tons of antioxidants and vitamins, has potassium and magnesium, um, and just a lot of great health benefits. You can use kale if you like kale. Um, kale actually has even more minerals and vitamins. It has a little bit more carbs though, but it, depending on kind of what you're going for, that may be okay. Um, I don't keep kale in the house because I don't like it. <laughs> so, so I don't, I don't buy it. Uh, I have tried it in smoothies and spinach tends to, I mean, if you put a lot of spinach in, it'll have a stronger flavor, but for the most part, if you have some good other uh, ingredients in there, you can't really taste the spinach. To me, no matter how much you blend the kale, and maybe I just don't have a powerful enough blender, it tastes like tree, and I don't want to eat a tree. So for my hubby, for even though he does paleo and I could do honey, I try to minimize, you know, like I said, it's, he doesn't need to have that much sugar. So I am going to put some monk fruit in here for the sweetener. And I'm going to put one of these containers of yogurt, and it'll take me a little bit of time, so I'm not going to show that on the video. But um, one of the things I'm going to do 
is I kind of divide it up. You don't want to just dump the whole blob of yogurt into the jar because I'm going to freeze this and that yogurt's going to harden and then the it won't fall down and get blended. It makes it really, really hard to blend. So typically what I do is I kind of stack my fruit with my yogurt. And we're going to do blueberries, mangoes, and pineapple. That's just kind of one of his favorite blends. It's what he likes the most. I have done bananas and some other things. I switched up. Uh, the banana has a pretty strong flavor, especially once it's been frozen. Even like a quarter of a banana, it's pretty strong. And it tends to dominate the smoothie, which he didn't really care for. So he really likes the berries. He likes the blueberries and the blackberries. Again, blueberries have lots of antioxidants, uh, which is kind of what we go for. And you can kind of pick your fruit, again, based on what you're trying to hit for as far as nutritionally goes. But these are the things that we like to use for him, for some of his anti-inflammation. And um, I'm going to do a quarter of a cup of blueberries, and it'll be about a half a cup. Be, but it'll end up being like two pieces of the mango, and I'll show you that. And then one piece of the pineapple, because they're, they're kind of big. They're, they're not like little, so they, they tend to fill the cup up quite a bit. And these are like really... Eh. So you can see, it, it's kind of a big, big old chunk in there. So uh, once we get all the fruit and the yogurt in there, and the reason I don't do before you tell me, why didn't you just buy a big container of yogurt? My Walmart actually has these cheaper this way. It's cheaper by the ounce to buy them in the individual containers than it is to buy the large container. So that's why I buy them like that. So. Anyhow, so that is my little story with that. Um, that's what I'm going to work on today. So I hope you guys are having a great vlogist. And I'm trying to not have all of these end up being super long. So I'm going to stop here and um, just let you know I'm going to stick this into the freezer, as I said. It, and it, I will actually put a cover on it. And then when we pull it out, we just have to run it under hot water to get all the frozen glass and whatnot, frozen pieces off. And then we put 30, 360 milligrams of almond milk and 45 to 60 milligrams of heavy cream and mix it up until it's well blended. And that is how I prepare smoothies for my hubby so that when he does want a nice dessert, when he comes home or if the dinner that I make him just doesn't quite hit the spot, he's still hungry he has something to grab that's healthy and it's going to help him with his nutrition goals. All right guys, hope you're having a great August and I'll talk to you tomorrow.